can I share something with y'all? This is the very first time in probably, I think I've been growing my hair out now like six years, almost seven, that I did a little like makeshift blowout, but I love my hair in its natural state with no product in it. I put some mousse in it because I, as a heat protectant, but I blew it out. First off, I didn't know it was that long, but there's a message in this. But I love my hair like this. Like I almost, I don't want to wear it with product in it. I just want to wear it like this and maybe put on a beanie or something and wear it. Hold on. Okay, does that look crazy? You know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, let me just take it off. Anyway, our hair, Afro-Caribbean, Afro-Latino, black hair. I want to talk about it. I also have to say something's different about my energy with my hair like this with nothing in it. Okay. Did you know that the hair follicles are an extension of your nervous system? In a lot of indigenous cultures, and I looked this up, in African indigenous cultures, they believe that our follicles were antennas. And so when they lock them, imagine locking the antennas that help you to tune more into what? The divine. That's why if you go back in the past and you look at a lot of the statues and the pictures, it looks like they have these things on their head, but it's actually locks. In Native American culture, they believe that you should just let your hair grow and that your hair is an extension of your nervous system, but it also enhances your sensitivity to spirit. Way, way, way back in the day, I don't remember the war, but American soldiers used Native Indians, they called them trackers, because they had an intuitive sense to be able to tell where the other, where the ops was coming from because of their intuitiveness, because they had long hair. But that's also why when they caught a lot of the Native American men, one of the first things they did was cut their hair. Okay, I wanna take this back to Africa, back to Wakanda. So if you think about it, if hair is our antenna, and you go back to our ancestors, right, that had that coily, I don't even wanna say 4C hair because I don't like using that category, but the coily, 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 kinkier texture. Now, think of that as an antenna. We also know that 4C hair is very strong. The kinkier, coily textures are much stronger. A stronger antenna, stronger spiritual antennas. I've been wanting to do a video on this for the longest and I think this is the perfect time. So now that you know that, does it give you a different perspective about your hair, its texture? But it also, it also lets us know why there's so many messages about our hair needing to change, needing to be different. Why we as people of color, Afro-Caribbean, Black, African, Diaspora babies feel a certain way about our natural texture. Not all of us, but some of us. A lot of that is changing, but it's because I believe that the powers that be, those that colonized us all around the world and indigenous culture, understand our spiritual connection with our natural hair and how it is an antenna, an extension of our nervous system. So if we hate our hair, we hate our antennas, we are going to what? Disconnect from it. And if we disconnect from our antennas, we're dis disconnect from our antennas, we are disconnecting from our divinity, from, from our nature, our own divine nature. So that's why I'm just feeling myself right now. I think I'm gonna wear this like this tomorrow. I'm going to the dentist. But anybody out there, if you've ever had any thoughts about, I hate my hair, I have to say this for context. It's kinky, it's nappy, it's uncapped. I want it to be more straight. I want a permit. I want it to be more manageable. I just want to invite you to consider the information that I just shared with you. Now that you know that your hair is an antenna, right? And the textures that we tend to um, say is the worst texture, 
texturism is the, the term I wanted to use. Just like there's colorism, featureism, there's texturism. So the textures of hair that we know that are at the bottom of the pole that are furthest away from the proximity to white mix, white, what is wrong with whiteness? Jesus Christ, I can't get it out. Those textures are actually the strongest, have the strongest antennas. If you don't believe me, go look it up. I promise you'll find it. But I wanna say all that to say, um, I'm learning to embrace my texture embrace your texture but what's helping me to embrace it is understanding the spiritual meaning behind my hair my texture what the ancestors believed and how they kept their hair and i just wanted to pass that on to y'all i love y'all i really do